Dr. Nihad Salifu from Ghana Pediatrician. I am at Kolebu Tichino Hospital which is affiliated to the University of Ghana Medical School and I'm delighted to say that I was one of the first candidates to be selected by the MEC Oncology Fellowship Program. Currently pursuing a course in pediatric oncology at Tata Memorial Hospital. Ghana has a population of about 26 million people we have only three pediatric oncologists. We don't have any medical oncologists in the country. Cancer care has had many challenges. Our mortality rates in cancer are very high currently, and there are a lot of challenges, including access to care, lack of awareness in the general population, and this also leads to late presentation of cases. Care is also very expensive. Many health workers are not trained in that field to be able to identify cancers and refer them early. I'm Dr. Christina Valen Malichere from Tanzania, working at the Mwimbiri University of Health and Allied Sciences as a lecturer in the Department of Radiology and Radiotherapy. I'm so grateful and uh, thanks for to make for being uh, one of the first candidates to join this uh, make medical oncology fellowship program. I've, I've been working at Ocean Road, which is the only cancer care hospital in Tanzania. And the current situation of cancer, the incidence and mortality has been increasing. We don't have doctors who are knowledgeable in cancer management. Most of, the, of our population is in the rural areas. And these few doctors who are present trained in cancer in management of cancer are present in the cities, especially in Dar es Salaam and in Mwanza. So we have very few doctors and most of them are radiation oncologists. We don't have any, we are there like only two medical oncologists that are available in the country and they are, are all centered in the city. Africa faces uh, challenges in oncology care what India faced uh, a few decades back and actually in much more magnified form. It has huge uh, limitation in access to oncology care for the entire population. Uh, there is limited availability of trained manpower at each level of care which includes physician, the nurses, the technologist, uh, the nutritionist and other providers. And there is huge lack of finances to be able to deliver the right treatment with the right drugs and the right intensity. And together these translate into a huge degree of abandonment of care early in treatment and then increased number of deaths during treatment because of lack of supportive care available in these centers and experience of treat, uh, managing these protocols. Finally, this all leads to a very poor outcome of cancers in uh, African population. So uh, there is a huge unmet need to have a concerted effort from the healthcare organizations, the government as well as the non-governmental organizations uh, to put their hands together and develop oncology care in these countries and the continent. We are very happy today to have a partnership with uh, MAR in building up the capacity building of trained and qualified oncologists in sub-Saharan countries they're going to be having a dual advantage. First, they will learn the science of oncology and also would know how to adapt that science in the limited infrastructure they're going to go back to. And the second, they will learn also about how to develop the support systems by putting together a social support group, by training nutritionists, by providing training to nurses, and using this limited manpower infrastructure, uh, how to adapt that care in their local countries. This initiative by Merck is going to be a big step in improving the outcomes of cancer patients in Africa. I hope that at the end of this training, I'll be able to go back and make a change in my country. I really believe that this collaborative effort through Merck is going to change the oncology care and landscape in Africa in decades to come. Millions of cancer patients in these countries will be ultimately get benefited by these doctors once they start rendering qualified services in their own country. Thanks to the MEC Oncology Fellowship Program.